Hey there, I'm Dr. Kara of KH Evolution, and I know it's been a long while, several months since I have been posting some videos here on the YouTube channel. So I want to apologize for being away, but also uh, say hello. I'm excited to be back and be offering some information to share with you and some of the, the things that have been happening to me. Uh, I think that um, we are in such a vibrant and tumultuous time all together here on our on the planet. And I'm just excited to be able to offer some fun things in the coming months that I think you might be interested in. So first off, I just wanted to share with you a little bit about um, my hiatus or sabbatical, if you will. Um, this year, 2022, has been just uh, a complete and utter uh, surprise for me. My world was turned upside down with some uh, health issues that were um, complex and perplexing because uh, none of the, the dots connected and not much made sense. And I feel like uh, after spending the uh, last Sunday at an expo and uh, talking to people um, as a holistic and alternative uh, professional, that a lot of people are experiencing some strange and unusual uh, circumstances that really are not um, being resolved with the traditional things that we typically would think that they would be. And so uh, over the coming uh, weeks, as I produce some videos for you and share with you some insights, I um, I hope that you might find something that is perhaps intriguing or that you might be interested in trying or bringing into your own world if you, in fact, are having uh, some weird things happening to you. Um, because I, I do believe that there is an answer, but I believe that the answer cannot be resolved from the same frequency that it was created from. And we've made this giant leap in uh, the, the vibrational frequency of uh, our planet and then also our, our bodies. And so I feel like... a. Um, the, the solutions and the resolutions to bring our bodies back into balance are multifaceted, meaning that uh, where uh, 20 years ago, we used to get a lot of change simply by changing uh, our diet or adding in a nutrition supplement or two. I feel like uh, those days are... Um, are are less frequent now. Um, we have a lot of things coming up uh, out of our cells, um, out of our psyches, and from our um, ancestral past that are all mixing in together. And I find that the a dual or multi pronged approach is really uh, much more effective. And so what I've learned from my own challenges this year is that um, there's been a lot of coyote energy. So uh, if, for those of you who uh, understand and know coyote energy or have a, a nature, a shamanic, um, energetic a background, you know that the coyote is the trickster. The coyote comes in and um, shows us that things are not always as they seem. Whatever we're looking at or perceiving or however we're perceiving our situation or the world circumstances uh, or ourselves, um, when coyote shows up, it's usually a skewed perception or it's an illusion or there is uh, something that we're taking a little bit too seriously and we need to kind of back up a little bit. And so the coyote has been walking with me uh, throughout the entire year of 2022 because um, things were definitely not as they seemed as I've had all of these physical um, uh, symptoms uh, related to the electrical system of my heart and, and of course the, the heart itself. Um, medically, physically, there was nothing wrong and there was nothing that we could see. However, 
um, the symptoms that I were that I was experiencing were incredibly physical, incredibly real, and uh, life impacting to me. And what I discovered is that I really needed an energetic and spiritual approach that what was what my body was really trying to signal to me was that um, this can't be resolved in the physical space. This is this is uh, 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 necessary to be resolved in the spiritual or energetic space. Um, and also give me that opportunity to really uh, expand uh, myself from a spiritual perspective. So I'm grateful to say that I was able to um, receive the message and receive uh, help and um, and implement the changes that I was being guided to make into my life. And, um, and as I have had a lot of time to contemplate and uh, think about the direction that I want to go, it really solidified the movement and the transition that's been happening in my own practice over these past several years. And that is for me to show up as a mentor, a spiritual mentor specifically for you and be able to help you interpret the world around you uh, as a practitioner of uh, shamanism and other energy practices uh, for almost two decades now uh, to find myself in a space where it was difficult for me to um, to see the path to to see the path ahead and through the healing really illuminated for me how important it is that uh, we all have uh, people in our lives and uh, tools that we cultivate to help us maneuver through all of the things that come in uh, front of us every day that come in 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 our path um because it's really easy to get uh, diverted and distracted and to develop a system inside of yourself, a way for you to look at your life and be able to perceive it uh, differently and uh, see the opportunity around you. Um, it takes practice and it's a skill that gets to be built um, through and around your intuitive guidance system that you hold that is so unique to you. And so um, that's where my focus is going, is working in the spiritual realms, the energetic realms, and the emotional realms, uh, primarily with people, to uh, help them decipher and interpret the world around them and develop those skills, empower them to be their own healer and the healer for their family. So I look forward to continually stepping into greater service in this with you. And I thank you for being here today and uh, and catching up with me. It's, it's such a pleasure to be back and be joining you in this way. All right, stay tuned and we'll talk again soon.